Hey, you fish friends. I hope you're ready to get to work. Our instructions tell us to watch this video to illustrate, color, and label the life cycle of a what? A fish. Good job. There's three stages we're going to draw, color, and label. They are the eggs, the young fish, and the adult fish. So we've got three pictures to draw, color, and label. Let's get to work. Pencils are ready. Journals are ready. And colors. You already know what colors we for sure need. But you might want some colors for your sea anemones and your eggs too. Open up that journal and let's find a clean new page that we can work in today. I'm not skipping around. I'm going to find the first one available. At the top, as always, we begin with the date. 5 for May, 26 for today, and 2021. Now we're going to have three stages in the life cycle of the fish. So let's save our spot for our three pictures and let's use our line here to put our title. It's with a capital letter L and it's underlined. Read it with me please. Life cycle of a fish. Now let's write it together. Here we go. It's on your screen to look and let's copy. Lie, silent E, life, finger space. Sigh, cool, to C, C Y C L E. Cycle of finger, A, finger, I, just kidding. Underline that beautiful title you wrote and read it with me one more time. Life cycle of a fish. Now our next three labels are the three pictures we're going to make. Egg, young fish, and adult fish. We're going to use our spot up here to do our illustrations and connect them with the arrows. So I'm going to give you three circles. Will you use your journal and Give me three circles too. Now you can see my circle is not very perfect, but that's why we have erasers, we can fix it. If you have something round, you could trace. That helps. I found a paper towel roll. I'm thinking I could trace this. You maybe have a Play-Doh you could trace around, or a can you could trace around. But I'm gonna just quickly do my three circles with this paper towel roll. Look in your journal. Did you give me three circles? If not, pause, quick, grab a Play-Doh, and give me three. One, two, and three. And let's get started with our pictures. Now, do we want to begin here? Number one here, or number one here? You can decide. I think I'm going to start up top. And the first thing I'm illustrating, the first step in the life, is the egg. Say that with me, please. Egg. And remember we saw in Pebble Go, they're laying their eggs Animals. in that sea anemone. So in my Gosh. illustration, I am going to show those kind of looking like creepy fingers growing on the bottom of the ocean. And I'm going to draw these little eggs, little ovals, little circles. Do you remember how many eggs they're laying? Now, I don't have time for a thousand eggs, but show me lots because you know there's more than just one or two. And crayon color always helps. And I'm looking at the screen, that anemone kind of looks kind of greenish yellow. So I'm going to draw my plants, my anemones are green. And then what color do we want our eggs? Hmm, I'm thinking I like yellow. Your eggs can be whatever color you want. The last color you might want to give me is blue because these are under the water. I'm going to shade in a little blue in the background, but you'll have more color time a little later. What's important now is the label. So back to my slide. This first stage is called the egg. Repeat it and let's write it. Egg. These are egg. Do you have your label eggs next to your first illustration? Now we're 
we're going to move on to the next step in the life cycle. We're going to go around the circle this way. So give me an arrow that's moving this direction. After the eggs hatch, what comes out of that egg? Your label on the screen says a young fish. Repeat that, please. Young fish. It should be a little smaller than the adult fish you're going to draw. But the clownfish, even when it's young, has the same colors and the same stripes. Just a little smaller size. So take a look on the screen and let's go draw a young clownfish in step two. You're going to need to have your fins. You're going to need to have your mouth, your eyes, those gills to breathe, and the stripes on its body. We'll add more crayon color later, but what's important is the label of young fish. Check your screen and let's go right. Young, Y-O-U-N-G, young fish, young fish. When I have a little more time later, I will show you those orange, white, extra details. Let's keep going. Move that arrow along the cycle around to the last stage, the adult fish. Say that with me, please. Adult. Now, the adult could be the mom or the dad. They're both guarding the eggs, and they're going to need to be bigger than your young clownfish. So look at your young, and let's make your adult large, maybe fatter, maybe taller, maybe wider, but it should be bigger. Still has the fins, the mouth, the eye, and the stripes, but the size should be larger than your young. After you have a drawing, you'll add your color later, but you need your label now. Let's write together adult fish. Repeat it and write it. A do t f ish. Two separate words. Adult fish. After the adult fish has grown, the cycle keeps going. Connect your last arrow because now the adult fish goes and lays a thousand more eggs. Around and around and around it keeps going. Please make sure you have today's date. You have eggs, picture, color, label. Young fish, picture, color, label. Adult fish, picture, gonna add my color, and we have the label. You have three arrows and you have a title life cycle of a fish. Take your time, show me your beautiful color details, and when you're done, take a picture for Google Classroom. Thank you, my fish friends. I'll see you tomorrow for another life cycle.